right, at 810 right now, you know, one of the hardest things to resist in the world is uh, melted chocolate. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, this Friday happens to mark National Chocolate Fondue Day, the perfect time to get creative with some of your favorite sweets. And if we got to get creative, we got to call in the expert, mm. Jen Munoz. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Yeah, I was a little worried about fireworks on my end, so I kept it in the box. Oh, okay. Great, but it looks amazing. <laughs> we're, we're braving we're, the we're fountain. Go it's, it's going. I think it, it's a little <laughs> cold in the studio, so it's still kind of warming up. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, if you're doing a party, you guys are doing it right because celebrating your anniversary, your birthday, chocolate fondue is definitely a good way to go. Mm -hmm. And having that fondue fountain. Um, from Party City is a really good way to be able to dip all your goodies in there. Or if you're looking for something a little more low key, there is just an electric chocolate melting pot from Macy's that like the chocolate just goes into and you can dip that way. Or you can do a little something from Amazon and order. I've got one here. Um, I'm so glad I found you. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, uh -huh. very cute. <laughs> well, and and then you need all the the things, right? To the, the things yeah, to go the do for the, your fondue. The, I, don't, I don't know what you the fondue kit things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So whether you're doing, you know, melting chocolates or wafers, um, like you guys are doing there, or Uncommon Goods has these little pots that you stick in the microwave for like four minutes. You can heat up the fondue chocolate. And then you can kind of dip right in there, which is also a really good thing. And they've got amazing flavors like raspberry, espresso, peanut butter. Those are all great. And then obviously you want to be able to dip. So we've got some fun little pots and things from Macy's, um, little hearts if you're doing something for Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. um, and then if you decide that you want to do like kind of more of the charcuterie board thing, you can either make your own at home and have something, you know, like a tray and whatnot to do it. Or I know you guys have got one there from one of our favorites. Yeah, Jenny, um, you've got that in front of you, that little charcuterie board. I don't know if we can take my camera. Yeah, this looks amazing. What, where is this from? So that is from Charcuterie Me right okay. there in Portland. And she made that fresh just for you guys to oh celebrate your gosh. anniversary birthday. Oh, so there's fun. all kinds of dipping goodies in there for you guys to enjoy with your chocolate. Um, and then Farina Bakery, which is also right there. Um, they do amazing handcrafted macaroons and oh, they delivered some to you guys oh as gosh. well. I so know. they're beautiful colors and it just adds that little pop right to your display. Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, so, so cute. and they're delicious for dipping. Um, and then obviously marshmallows are always a good thing. So you can do the smashmallow ones. Those are some of my favorites because they've got the, um, they're square shaped and they have some interesting flavors. Yes, like I think we both have cookie dough. Is there a cookie dough like inside of yeah, the Yeah, it's like a cookie dough flavored marshmallow. Oh my gosh. I know. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. Yeah, you Emily need to try didn't that. have to eat one right before the segment. I was trying to make the fountain and work. Make and, happen. and so we're, the, the marshmallows are really good at getting chocolate into your yeah. fountain, just mm -hmm. FYI. And they were yeah. like 10 seconds and she, she just threw it. It felt in. like Lucille Ball <laughs> with the chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, then last but not least, you guys, and you know, Rice Krispie Treats are always a favorite too. Oh, And yes. this is from a company oh, called God. Corporate Cookie Company. So they put your logo on there to celebrate your birthday. I know, that these are so, so cute. cute. They're little Rice Krispie Treats. I mean, Jen, all of these treats are, look delicious enough to just eat as is, and then you add melted chocolate on top. To the and, mix, yeah. Oof, mm -hmm. doesn't get much better. You can't go wrong, right? No. I mean... Yeah, 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 not at all. Can you go wrong? Have any of these ever like? I was gonna I say, just, leave it to us to yeah. find a way. <laughs> I've Don't never get been... too close to the fondue fountain. That's uh -huh. all I'm worried about. For yeah. yeah, I guess we can say give it ample time to to warm to, like, up because it's a uh, yeah, the... it's, it's not exactly fountaining yet. It's a right. it's a chocolate fondue um, brook. Yeah. A, a creek. Yeah. It's a well, and <laughs> yes. I think, you know, sometimes it helps to heat the chocolate in the microwave first. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's already warmed up, and then you turn the fountain on a little beforehand, and so it warms up. And then when you pour the chocolate into the fountain, it automatically starts going. So just okay. got to give yourself a little you prep go. time. But okay. you guys got a lot going on celebrating that birthday. I Happy know. Birthday. I was going to say, we get a fondue party for our first Ooh. birthday. How fun. We're classy. Yeah. Jen, <laughs> thanks so much for for all of the help with the party planning and for the great suggestions. Always good to see you. You too. Enjoy. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah.